than 50 criminals are now behind bars in Faulkner County following a multi-agency police operation. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Laura Monteverdi. Hello, good evening. I'm Bob Clausen. As usual, we're glad you're with us. Well, this past week, Faulkner County moved in on some of the area's most violent criminals to get them in custody. Jessica Rank joining us now live. She's at the Faulkner County Sheriff's Office with more on this. And this was a sweep and it was a major success. Yeah, most certainly Bob and Laura of the about 65 criminals that they had on that list. The sheriff's office says they were able to arrest about 56. So that's only about nine less than they really needed here. But they say they hope this serves as a reminder to the community that law enforcement here in Faulkner County is doing whatever they can to keep the community safe. The unmistakable logo could be someone's saving grace or their worst nightmare. For these criminals, it's the last person they want to see knocking on the front door. It shows our community and it shows the rest of the remainder of the state that in Faulkner County, we take it serious. For months, the Faulkner County Sheriff's Office has been preparing for their largest sweep of the year, targeting repeat offenders. With the help of Mayflower and Conway PD and the U.S. Marshal's Office, deputies were able to put 56 people behind bars, totaling 41 felony charges and 51 misdemeanors. There were some uh, very fresh warrants. There were some outstanding warrants that had been around for quite some time. Probation and parole was, a, was a, also a big factor in this operation. The sheriff's office says it's all about protecting the community and sending a message to those still in hiding. If you're a felon with an outstanding warrant, you might want to go ahead and turn yourself in. My message to the, the public is there's more to come. Now, unfortunately, in these type of situations, a lot of the times these criminals will get arrested and then be bonded out just a few days later. So they're back on the streets. I asked the sheriff's office just how many of those 56 have since bonded out since Friday, and they haven't gotten me a number just yet. We will continue to press for those questions in the coming days. Live in Faulkner County, I'm Jessica Rank for KRK4 News.